Kamala Harris, Senator Kamala Harris, a senator, you know, one of the brain trusts that comes out of California here, has declared she believes that calling it the uh, Wuhan flu or a Wuhan disease, whatever it is, is racist. Uh, at what point did Wuhan become a race? I, I think from my days in politics, this is all about if you can't talk about something important, but you want to keep relevant, you talk about something. This is just a something. There is a very long medical history of naming outbreaks after where they came from so as not to create confusion, but actually definition of where it came from. I have a long list. I hope Kamala Harris hears this and goes away with her Wuhan being racist. Check Give me this the out. rapid fire list. I got I got to see this. West Nile virus named after the West Nile district in Uganda, where it was discovered in 1937. The Guinea worm disease, named by a European explorer for the Guinea coast of West Africa in the 1600s. Rocky Mountain spotted fever, named after the mountain range in the Western United States, first discovered in 1896. Lyme disease, named after a large outbreak of the disease that occurred in Lyme, Connecticut. How about Ross River fever, named after a mosquito, found to cause the disease on the Ross River of Queensland, Australia. Or Omsk hemorrhagic fever, named after the discovery in Omsk, Russia. How about Ebola? We've all heard about that. It's named from 1968 from the Ebola River in Zaire. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Remember MERS? It was reported in Saudi Arabia, which is part of the Middle East, and that's where the name came from. You've got more, I mean, like Japanese encephalitis, named after Japan, where it came from. German measles came from Germany. Now, this is a senator, wants to be in the headlines. Racism is always a good way to get a headline. So this virus is racist, and all the others, well, maybe they weren't. Barry, if you ever come up with the California clap, I'm going to be highly offended, might even report you.